class recording has started. So, Friday, we introduced the acceleration caused by gravity. And we learned a couple of things about the acceleration caused by gravity. What did we find out about the acceleration caused by gravity from Friday's discussion? Roberto, go ahead. It is a constant acceleration, which is why it fits in nicely into this unit, because we talked about the kinematic equations earlier in this unit, and we said kinematic equations, those relationships between displacement and velocity and acceleration and time, only apply if the acceleration is constant. So we can use those relationships when we discuss gravity, because gravity causes a constant acceleration. But gravity will only cause a constant acceleration if what? If it's the only thing that's acting on that object. If gravity is the only thing acting on that object, what will we see about the acceleration of all objects, regardless of whether they're size, shape, color, mass, density, whatever? Same acceleration. We also talked about, from this picture, right, that the acceleration caused by gravity is the same whether that object is moving upwards or whether that object is moving downwards. And we went through the idea that that on the way up, the velocity is positive and the acceleration is negative because gravity is pulling things down, so that causes a slowing down effect. But on the way down, velocity and acceleration are in the same direction, so that causes that object to speed up. But regardless, right, because the acceleration is constant, up trip and down trip are very symmetrical from the standpoint of displacement, position, speed, right? But velocity might be a little different just from the sign standpoint. And I think we show, I showed you this picture on Friday, yes, right, of what position, velocity, and displacement would look like for an object that you throw up in the air and that you catch exactly where it was thrown from. Good there? All right. Olivia. Over the weekend, I asked you to do a couple of problems from the book. One of those problems was on page 109, I believe. And it's question number 26. 26. It says, rock A is dropped from a cliff, and rock B is thrown upward from the same position. When they reach the ground at the bottom of the cliff, which rock has a greater velocity, which rock has a greater acceleration, and which arrives first? So let's answer them in order of increasing difficulty, which is not the order that they are shown there. Letter C, which of these rocks is going to arrive at the ground first? <coughs> if you drop one, but throw another one up in the air, right? Okay. Rock A is going to hit the ground first, right? If you drop something and then throw it up in the air, or throw something else up in the air, Rock A is going to hit the ground first, right? It doesn't have to go up, slow down, stop, and then come back down, right? Say again? It would show work for that. No, in this case, there's really no numbers that you can work with, Evan, so it's kind of hard to show work at this point. But does that make sense just, you know, because yeah. you know what you know? Yeah. All right. For B, well, let's go here. For C, rock A will arrive first. Okay. For B, which has the greater acceleration? Kind of a trick question. What do we know about the acceleration of all objects experiencing the force of gravity? It is exactly the same. Does it matter that you dropped one from rest and you threw another one upward from the same spot. As soon as you let them go, what starts acting on them? Gravity. If we assume that there is no air resistance and no friction, which we can't, but if we assume that, okay, gravity is pulling which way the entire time? Which way does gravity pull on stuff? Downward. Downward. That causes rock A that was just dropped to do what? What starts happening to rock A immediately after you let it go? It starts moving downward. What starts happening to its velocity as it moves downward? Increasing, 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 increasing. Okay? But rock B, which was thrown upwards, what does gravity have to do to it first? On the up trip, which
which way is rock B's velocity pointing? Up, so it has a positive velocity, but which way is gravity pulling on it? Down. So what does gravity do initially to rock B? Slows it down until it reaches the top point, right? At the top point, what is rock B doing? Changing direction. What's its velocity like up at the top? Zero. zero. So if it has a zero velocity, but gravity is still acting on it, what's going to start happening to it? Speeding up, but in the downward direction. Does that make sense? But regardless, which has the greater acceleration? The answer is neither. Because what do we know about the acceleration of both of them? Exactly the same. Because gravity causes the same acceleration to all objects. ourselves a little picture. with zero velocity from this point, and then, say there's some water down here, right? Zero velocity from here, and then gravity starts acting on it, fall, 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 just before it hits the water. We could use a kinematic equation to figure out how fast it was going, and how long it took, okay? Good there. But, rock B. What does rock B have to do first? Go up. It has to go up, right? And it has to slow... Oh, nice. Oh, that's uh, <laughs> Turn into an F. Oh, this is good. It has to go up. But eventually, what happens to it? It stops up at the top. From that point forward, is it any different than rock A being dropped from the cliff? Not really, except where is rock B being quote unquote dropped from? A lot higher up. Well, I don't know about a lot, but higher up than rock A was dropped from. Does that make sense? So which one's going to hit the water or the ground with a greater speed? Rock B is going to hit the ground with the greater speed, right? Because when it gets back to this point, right, what is it already doing? It's speeding up, but it's already moving, whereas rock A was just dropped from rest. So you can think about it from that standpoint, or like we just discussed, from the point where rock B is quote unquote dropped from, where its velocity is zero, right? It has a longer distance to get down to the ground, so gravity has a longer chance to accelerate it. Does that make sense? So even though you drop one and you threw one up in the air, the one that gets thrown up in the air, it will get there later, but it will be going faster when it gets to the ground. So for the 
this for this question here, right? When they reach the ground at the bottom of the cliff, which rock has a greater velocity? That answer is rock B. Okay. Good there? That actually will help us. Actually, will help us form the questions today. All right. Other questions before we start. The sheet that I give you today has two sides of it. We're going to be on this side that has the pictures on it, the picture of the guy leaning over the bridge, and there's a picture of a couple of windows there, a guy standing on the side of the building. So we're going to start there. Okay. Let's start off with some easy questions. Question number three. Question number three says, the figure to the right shows the path of an object thrown upwards past three windows. So we're throwing this rock from the bottom past these three windows. Letter A says, which window would an observer see the object with the greatest speed? So which window would the person inside see the object moving the fastest if we throw it upwards? So first question. After the object is thrown upwards past the three windows, which window will see the object moving with the greatest speed? Window number one was on the top, window number two in the middle, window number three on the bottom, or the speed past all the windows would be exactly the same. answer for this one is window number three, the bottom window. As that object is traveling upward, which way is gravity pulling on it? Yeah. Downward. So what's going to happen to its speed as it travels up and up and up? Slow down, slow down, slow down. So the greatest speed will be at the window number three. Okay. However, another good prep based on what we just discussed that same question, letter number C, says which window would measure the object as having the greatest acceleration? Which window would an observer measure the object having the greatest acceleration? causing the object to do what it's doing or to change its speed as it's going upwards past the windows. Gravity is causing that acceleration, right? And we talked about that the idea that gravity causes the same acceleration for all objects regardless of their size, shape, what they're made out of, blah, 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 blah. 
but also it causes the same acceleration regardless of which way they're moving. It's just on the up trip it causes things to slow down, and on the down trip it causes things to speed up. Will there be any difference in the acceleration of those objects past all three windows? And the answer is no. They'll have the same acceleration because what's causing the acceleration in each of the three windows? Gravity is causing that acceleration. All right, good there. One that our discussion at the beginning of the period will hopefully help you solve. <coughs> question number two. Question number two says, standing on the edge of a 50 meter tall building, you throw an object directly upwards at 7 meters per second. Travels upwards, stops, falls back to the ground below, all the way down to the ground. But in the second instance, you take an object that has an equal mass, but you throw it downward at 7 meters per second. So the first one you threw up, the second one, instead of just dropping it, you threw it downward. Okay? It falls to the ground below, 50 meters below where it was thrown. How does the speed of the objects compare just before they hit the ground? So, you threw one up, you threw the other one down. When they get to the ground, how is their <coughs> speed going to compare? <coughs> Very similar to a problem that we just discussed, but a little bit different. So what I would like you to do is, instead of doing this on your own, talk to the people around you and see if you guys can come to a consensus. Go.
Interesting. Interesting. Oh, so cool. <laughs> sure, if you want, if you want to, go ahead. <laughs> so you just blame it on John because he didn't vote either. So, so. Are you brave enough to throw it out there for everybody here? Go with your instincts. Like really? that's, that, that's my advice. That's like, my advice. I mean, I will, but like, I feel like it's okay. Don't worry. You're, don't worry. Your last name isn't anywhere on this recording. So you probably know that there's some girl named Emily somewhere. That's. <laughs> uh, Wait, no, I didn't. Wait, I didn't. So that's good. Now we don't know which one you actually put in. So, okay. Okay. All right. So, oh, the correct answer is they'll have the same speed just before they hit the ground. Okay. Let's go back. <laughs> Let's go back to this picture. except now rock A or object A it says in this case instead of just dropping it right well let's do rock B first yeah? this one here it says it gets thrown upwards at a velocity of 7 meters per second okay but this one rock A Instead of just dropping this one, it actually gets thrown downwards at 7 meters per second. Is that good there? What the difference between that last picture and this picture was? So instead of red just being dropped, now it's getting thrown downward. Rock B does the same thing. goes up in the air, and it stops. And then it comes back down. But... What did we learn about that up trip and that down trip on Friday? It takes the same amount of time. Go up as it goes down. If it takes the same amount of time to take it from 7 meters per second to what's its velocity up there? Zero. By the time it gets back here, how fast is it going to be going? 7 meters per second. But which way? Downward. What was A doing right when it started? Going downward. How fast? Seven meters per second. So from this point forward, is there anything different about those two trips? There is not. They'll hit the ground with the same speed. Will they hit the ground at the same time? No. Red's going to get there first, right? If you throw one up and throw one down, red's going to get there first. But right before they hit the ground, they'll be going at the same speed. Does that make sense? Okay. Similar to that problem. That, that was a really good problem to talk about beforehand because it already related to two of the things that we're talking about here. Good? When people actually do homework, that makes me happy. So that makes sense. All right. Good there? Our next question related to that, or related to that problem. So that object that you threw up in the air, it's going to go up in the air and then it's going to come back down and it's going to, this is, this question isn't showing up, this question doesn't show up on your sheet, I'm sorry, I thought of this while I was like making the poll questions, okay? So, that object that you threw up in the air, the blue one, if you go back to this picture, maybe, the blue one, right, you threw it up in the air at a velocity of 7 meters per second, it goes up like this and then it comes back down. The next question I want to know is, how long did it take to get back to where
where you threw it from, or how long does it take till it gets back and passes you on its way back to the ground? Does it take two seconds, less than two seconds, more than two seconds? Once again, if you want to discuss, feel free to do so. Go. Seven meters per second. Two seconds to get back to you, more than two seconds, less than two seconds.
rocks. You drop one, you drop another one a second later, and they keep falling. Will that distance increase, decrease, or stay the same? I need a couple more seconds. Yeah. 